Let's move to the mail. Claire, um, horrendous story of a, a veteran getting attacked uh, in Edinburgh. This was a poppy seller. Yeah, that's right. So this is uh, Jim Henderson, who served with the uh, army in Northern Ireland. He was a member of the Royal Corps of Signals, mm. which I have a very good family connection to with my father and my grandfather. So yeah. I was always really interested to read this. 78-year-old gentleman selling poppies at uh, Waverley Station in Edinburgh and was punched and kicked from behind by pro-Palestinian supporters. They were having a protest. Uh, he was there trying to do his bit for the Royal British Legion and he was kicked from behind and taken to the grounds and apparently nobody did anything. It was the station staff in the end who came in to save him and pick him up. And I think that we are really setting ourselves up for a nasty, nasty argument this weekend with the divisive language that is being used. We should not forget Armistice Day whatsoever. And British Legion should be able to sell poppies without being mm. threatened. Mm. But crucially, there's nothing pro-Palestine about punching a poppy seller. No, isn't? they're absolutely... You know, they no. shouldn't be, that, those ideas shouldn't be conflated. That, no, that but takes if you're on, if you're on that, argument. if you're if you're in that position, a percentage of people in that position, James, you go on those marches. I, yeah. I don't think for one second you'd you'd think of attacking a poppy no, seller. Yeah. You're wearing one right now. Yeah. However, there is a contingent, and it's it's a sizable contingent of people. Not that who are going to punch poppy sellers, but who uh, we saw it at Charing Cross Station at the weekend who just represent that kind of slightly anti-establishment, well, anti-British position. So a poppy seller and Armistice Day is classic territory for some people on that side. Well, no, I, uh, I don't think so. I'm very sad to, to see this. It's mm. obviously horrible that, um, that a poppy seller has been punched. And I was at the, the sit-in in Charing Cross and they've got a picture of there were poppy sellers there. Mm who they did look a bit bemused, understandably. There they are, they're <laughs> selling their poppies, and then suddenly there's a 1,000 people uh, around them. But, I mean, they, I, from what I could yeah. see there... No, they shouldn't they, have been there, the 1,000 people around them. They no, shouldn't no, have been well, anywhere no. near poppy sellers. They were buying poppies here. They were buying poppies from the sellers. They hadn't hold, gone in there hold, to buy poppies, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Come on, James. No, 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 no. Hold on, come on, come on in. Defend this position if you can. Of course, hold on. The protest in Charing Cross was a good... And, uh, and perfectly respectable thing, calling for a ceasefire. They, they weren't going there to do anything against it, it was It wasn't a respectable thing. They were, firstly, they were in a railway station. Get out the railway station. You've got no right to be in a railway station protesting, for goodness sake. It's people trying to commute. That's the first no, you, thing. Secondly, why, was, gather, was, was, why Saturday, gather around... It was a Saturday at, at, at four, Charing yeah. Cross is always busy. Char it's post-football <laughs> around about that time. Um, and, and Poppy... Why would, you be, a, why would you have a crowd of one protest around a campaign organisation no, that's no, trying no, to work, no, raise no, no. Sorry, retain Ian, awareness. Sorry, Ian, you're completely misconstruing this entirely. The poppy sellers happen to be in the station. They weren't... No, they will there. always oh, be no, in the no, station no, this no, time so, of year. Yes, they will always be yes, there. Yes, of course. It's but, like saying they my also point, targeted But my point workers. is that the, the, the poppy sellers and the protest, in, in the case of the Charing Cross one, didn't come together in any way. They, whoever happened to be in the, in the station, whether they worked there, whether they were passing through, whether they were selling coffees or poppies were there when the protests were taking place. And, of course, people have a right. We have, a, we have freedom of assembly and freedom of speech, supposedly, yeah. in this country. And, of course, people have a right to protest against our government. I'm not even sure you have a right to protest on a, a railway station anyway. Yeah. You? you have a right... That's another issue, but well, about private property. We have, we have, a, we have a, a, a right to protest. And then when the police moved everybody on, everybody left. But it if was you a were... perfectly, it was a perfectly peaceful, well organised, well ordered between both the police and the. I, I, and don't, the I don't dispute it was peaceful, but James, when you went in to Charing Cross Station and realised that, as, as one of the biggest stations in the capital city, clearly there's always a big focus on selling poppies in that area. Wouldn't you have gone? Do you know what? This is not the place to conflate oh, these two oh, causes. No, they, so let's let's well, get the let's get, ceasefire. Let's get the, the heck out. Uh, okay, let's but, get no, the heck out. They're no, not. No, the, they're clearly not the same. No, thing. no, no. Firstly, two things. One, there are three poppy sellers in the uh, in the station on, on a table together. I'm I'm sure they wouldn't have even been seen by the first um, uh, protesters coming in. Firstly, and secondly, exactly as Nicola said, what could be more appropriate? On the day that in which we, in yeah. which that we commemorate, no. no. in which, and the you, day, you're an intelligent man. That in, is not, on the day in the, which it we, means the same thing. Clearly, well, the, at the moment, it does. In years to come, maybe we will see a conflation. It's a call hold, for on. Peace. Hold, hold on. What is it that we recall on Armistice Day? Mm -hmm. 
What is it that we recall on Armistice Day? What happened at 11 a.m.? So we're 11th? commemorating our war dead, OK? Right. It's not but just for the first and second world war. The reason why we do it at that time is because yes. the guns fell silent Correct. to end mm -hmm. World War I, to end yep. the killing. And we use that moment when we managed to get peace to commemorate our war dead. And what the protest is seeks to do on Saturday... Is have are, an a sort of an anti-Israel, no, pro-Palatine... It is a bit of that, though, isn't it's it? It's a ceasefire... What is, what is the top slogan for it? Ceasefire it's now. now. Stop the killing in Gaza. Let the guns, let the bombs fall I don't, on both I don't, sides. I don't dispute that. I don't dispute that. But I think there is an underpinning of controversy that is irredeemable here. And so the when you're around at that time... Has been, has been created by our government mm -hmm. and the media in trying to suggest that the cenotaph is being targeted, the protests are going nowhere near, that they're going to disrupt any uh, anything that happens. They, they start after the minute of silence, that they're going to be dangerous and they're going to be arrested. There are fewer arrests as a proportion at, uh, uh, at the protests we've seen so far than at a football match. So the idea that this is uh, frightening, violent, uh, any of these things is... It, it's an attempt to construe ordinary British people, and hopefully there will be a huge number of them, who want to see a ceasefire in West Asia. It is a perfectly decent, but reasonable do you, but thing do to do. But do you think that uh, going into a railway station and sitting down and causing the amount of grief just to, to ordinary people trying to get on with their lives, I, I, I don't disagree with protests. I think you have the rights to protest, the freedom to do so, and I'm glad this country has it. Yeah. But when you start looking at railway stations mm -hmm. and causing the amount of grief, I think it takes away from the message that they're trying to get across. And wholly they're peaceful, mm -hmm. but there are also those pockets of people who are just there to cause a fight, We're just there to cause aggro. Well, but of course, you know, protests uh, are designed to be disruptive yeah. in some yeah. way, shape yeah. or form. Yeah, yeah, yeah.